Make that round. And then we're going to stick our thumb in. In the clay hand building class, ceramist Amy Manson shares some of her techniques with participants who come twice a week. Today's project is hand sculpting and sculpting through a pinch pot process a pumpkin. So you're making two pinch pots and closing them to make a round orb and then sculpting it to look like a pumpkin. The first time might be a little scary. They're not sure. They're a little intimidated on how hard to push or how the clay is going to react. But after one time, they get a little more confident. Once you've got the air trap, you can still sculpt and fix and do what you need to do. Many of the students have a background in arts and want to hone their skills and learn different techniques. Barbara Johnson started doing pottery three years ago. Having your hands in clay um, is just this calming kind of thing. And it's so creative because you may start out thinking you're going to make this piece, and it turns into something totally different. Recently, Johnson has started selling her work. I'm humbled a lot of times when someone says that they, they want to purchase you know, my things and have them in their home. Manson's partner, her friend Anne Andre, is a jeweler who creates transformative pieces, like a pendant that can also be worn as a ring. Five years ago, really started looking to see where we could um, have this business model. And we thought, wouldn't it be great to do something that was more clay and jewelry making, because we didn't see anything like that before. This is a perfect fit. Andre teaches jewelry making classes. They hammer the metal, they get an effect, you know, that they never thought they could do themselves. They form something like a bracelet, and it's just, um, they're excited. They think, I made this. And they go out wearing it, which is really nice. That's how Jennifer Medish feels when she wears the pendant she made. I love turquoise. I'm a, I'm a country girl, grew up around horses. Turquoise has always been just kind of a symbol of that rustic look. Considering a second career beyond horses, she's finding a potential in jewelry making. I feel that there has been such a revival of handmade items that people, there are, they're more willing to pay for something that is made by a single artist than something that is mass produced. And then you can feel how much clay is in the bottom. The founders of Clay and Metal Loft want to be part of that revival. Through summer camps, they want to inspire kids. And through their monthly Ladies' Night workshops, they try to help busy professionals unwind. Their goal is to become a creative, fun space for the entire community. For writer Faisa El Masri, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.